welcome back guys to another exciting episode of RX Angler. So today I'm going to try to hit the marsh. It's been tough. Winter fishing has been tough guys. I know you guys are struggling. I'm struggling. Right now it's 45 degrees. I imagine the water temp's going to be in the low 50s. And check it out guys. It's been a while. I am taking out the Johnny boat. A lot of you guys have requested it. And it's time that I took it out of storage. And I hope the motor's running because I haven't ran that motor in God knows like at least six months. And on top of that, you guys remember Daniel, my newbie friend. He's going to meet us up and check it out. I have another newbie friend. This guy is new to fishing too, but you see, you guys seem to like the newbie fishing. So that's why I invited these guys out. Check it out. This guy is Ben. What's up, Ben? What's up? Thanks for joining me, man. Ben has been a friend for a while and he's actually a Houston Police Department officer. Uh, how long have you served? 15 years. 15 years, man. Thank you for your service. Guys, if you ever see a police officer out there, especially HPD, that protect our city, man, thank them, shake their hands, man, buy them a meal or something, be good to them. But anyways, so thank you for coming out. When's the last time you caught a fish, Ben? It's about a month ago. A month ago? Okay, what kind of fish was it? It was a sheep's head. A sheep's head? Was it a legal sheep's head? It was legal, bro. You sure, man? It was legal. <laughs> the main point, obviously, is to give you guys some entertainment. I'm gonna take out my little Johnny boat. I'm gonna see if I can catch a fish on it. It's been a while, but more importantly, I wanna hook my friends up because uh, I want them to have fun. We're gonna take them out, see if we can get them on a redfish. I know Daniel got one last time. He said he, it pulled like a mother and he, I mean, it's been a long time since Ben caught a redfish. So I'm super excited guys. So you guys stay tuned. All right, ladies and gents, we made it safely to the launch after stopping by Bucky's you know, taking care of business, but check it out, man, as you guys already met Ben. Look at that, we got Daniel right there. The other Bye. noob. <laughs> you got some better water shoes today, hopefully? I did, not these. Got some wading shoes. <laughs> oh, there you go. Anyways, guys, I wanted to show you this, man. Check this out. This is how Ben carries um, his kayak, man. Hey, so what, what kind of car is this? It's a Honda Fit. Honda Fit, is this like a Type R or something? Not, not quite, I wish. <laughs> Let's do an inch <laughs> Give me the hookup. So you're into that Fast and Furious stuff. Oh, no, sir. Just uh, <laughs> I'll show and no go. <laughs> Anyways, check this out, guys. He has his kayak stuffed in this little bitty. Okay, let me give you a profile look so we can show you how big this this little car is. It's like uh, it's like one of those smart cars, in my opinion. <laughs> <It's> just <laughs> that's awesome, man. And check it out, man. Look at this, dude. He's just it's just stuffed in there like a can of sardines. He has a nice little armrest right here. He can put his arm while he's driving. Yeah, man, whatever whatever it takes to go, go fishing, right? That's all it takes. That's all it takes, man. Whatever it takes, man. You got to do what you got to do. I get it. But right there, that, that to me, folks, is dedication. All right, Dan the man. You ready, man? I'm, ready. I'm glad you got some upgraded shoes there. So much better. Okay, so do you remember how to work the kayak? Yes. Do I need to go over anything? The same. I, I hope so. All right, bud. Um, let's push it in a little bit. Oh, you got it, Ben? Okay. Got it? Hold. Paddle to your left. Newbie fishing at its best. <laughs> Don't go under the bridge, man. You'll get sucked in. I can't help you if, you, if that happens. Oh, well, I don't know. She still floats, sitting in storage for six months. <laughs> Well guys, you asked for it. More Johnny Boat content. And I'm gonna give it to you today. Woo, I forgot how low this sits. Well, I got the seating position in the lowest. I just hope my motor starts because it's been sitting in my storage for almost six months. <laughs> I don't know how it's gonna work, but we are certainly gonna try, folks. If not, well, I've proven that I can catch fish using a rather re regular paddle kayak. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my God. It's good to see you. Put it in neutral. All right. Good deal. Good to hear you purr, baby. And here we go, folks. Johnny boat. Can it catch me a fish? That's what we're hoping, right? All right. Why did you die? I don't know why she died, but she died. I don't know why she keeps dying. I'm not getting enough gas. Come on, baby. Come on, stay with me. Ugh. 
maybe she's been stored in storage for so long. All right, I'm gonna run the choke for a little bit so she can get some gas. Damn it, come on. Alright, I think, I think we got enough gases in the veins. I think that's just what happened. I mean, when I stored it, I drained the gas and oil and all that stuff. Um, pretty much took care of it for winter time. She just needed some gas in the veins, just like we need some blood in the veins. And I think, I think she's good. She sounds good. Yeah, I think she's good. Lazy man fishing at his best. These guys in the boat right here probably think I'm a weirdo. I'm in a little boat while they're in a big boat. Okay, here we go, man. Right here in the middle, I know there's oyster here. Let's see if we can get a fish right here. Just let it drop all the way down. Slowly twitch. Come on, new swim bait. Do me good. I need a fish. This right here is easy man fishing. Just letting the motor do the work. Just idling along. Just throwing your line. Making sure it hits the ground. If you need to stop, all you do is hit it to neutral. Yeah, she's a little bit loud. And then fish a little bit and then keep on going. I don't even see freaking bait out today, man. Usually I'll see some bait jumping around here. Not today. Oddly enough, no bait. Well, it is pretty cold. So, bait, it's going to be hard to find. There's no bait. Yeah, it's really hard to find the fish, too. There we go. Oh, dude, I just got thumped. I got thumped there. I missed them. Hey, what happened? I just got thumped hard. God dang it. Missed him, man. Missed him. There we go. That's a fish. There we go. Finally. Finally. That's a flounder. Nice. Oh, it's a good flounder. Holy smoke. Oh, dude, he got off. That was like an 18, 19 incher, man. Dang, man. That sucks. Yeah, man, add to, what is it? Insult to injury? Injury to insult? What is it? So You know what I'm talking about, man. That sucked. That was a nice flounder right here in the middle, man. I can't believe it. So we just let it go all the way down. That's where you hit it. There's a little apex drain right there. The weird thing is I didn't even feel him hit the hit the lure. Just like like they're not thumping it like they usually do. So not sure what to tell you. There we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. That's a that feels like a slot red, I think. I think, hopefully, hopefully, he's pulling a little bit of drag. I think this might be a slot red. Caught him right there at the apex. There we go. There we go. I'll take him. I'll take him. Get my net ready. Yes, baby. That's the guy I'm looking for. That's the guy I'm looking for. Oh, my gosh. There he is. Oh, come on, baby. Come on. Do not get off. Do not get off. 
Oh, don't take me to the grass, dude. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh, oh my god, this is a slot, bro. Who wants this slot? <laughs> oh, dude, that's a nice puller. <laughs> there it is. That's a beautiful slot. Look at that slot red, folks. That's the fish I've been looking for all day. All right, here we go, guys. Let's take a look at this monster. This is an upper slot red. That is a slot red. Look at that. My God. Let's see how much he weighs. Nine pounds. He's an upper slot red. This is a tournament fish right here, folks. And you know what? One of my friends is going to keep him to eat him. <laughs> Nine pounds of meat. Look at that brute. Dude. He destroyed that bass lure. Woo wee. That's how you do it, man. You grind it. Winter fishing is super tough. I got a nice fish for my buddy back here who's going to feed his family, his young girl, his pregnant wife, and um, have a glass of wine while he's at it. I'm ecstatic because honestly, my hopes were draining down and I felt like perhaps maybe today's just not a day that I was going to catch fish. I did get that big 18, 19 inch flounder to the surface. I put eyes on it, but he got off the hook. He's, he dropped the hook. so. That doesn't really count, but it was a nice fun. But anyways, we're gonna we're gonna keep on fishing. We still got a long way to go, and see if we can catch a fish. But yeah, the Johnny boat, it caught me a fish, and that was the subject of this whole video: is if I can catch a big fish on the Johnny boat, and it's working. There we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. Okay, that's a flounder. Oh my gosh. Okay, come on, Nick, you idiot. There we go. Oh no, it's a redfish. What? You know, flounder, you idiot. <laughs> Well, caught him way down there. Look at that. Small little dude. Has uh, colon issues. There you go, buddy. There you have it, guys. I had a great time. Min middle of winter fishing was tough. It's going to get even tougher. It's not going to get easier. But anyways, uh, real quick, guys. I'm actually planning to sell this Johnny boat. If you guys are interested in purchasing this Johnny boat right here, send me a message via Instagram or Facebook. Let me know reason why I'm letting it go is there's really nothing wrong with it. I just need to move some boats out of my storage to finance other projects. So let me know. I'm going to let it go for really, really cheap. My loss is your gain. Hit me up through Instagram or Facebook and uh, let's get this new boat in your hands. So I had a great time today. My friends caught fish. I caught some fish. Anyways, it was great, man. I had a great time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.